Mid-morning, diverted traffic, piercing whales, streams of caution tape, crimes of seen investigators, a subsequent visit to the morgue, a public appeal. The makings of another bloody scene here in the Capitol that has shot the homicide count to now 104, the third for this week alone. The victim in today's case, a man known to police, won on bail for murder, an attempted murder. On the scene for us, our Charles Fisher. It's a scene becoming quite too familiar. Family members consoling one another after the loss of a loved one. The double shooting incident happening on Robinson Road Tuesday morning. That has left a 32-year-old male dead and a 16-year-old juvenile male with injuries. The 16-year-old is presently at the hospital receiving medical attention. Information is that shortly before 10 o'clock this morning, a male was exiting a 15A bus in the area of Florida Court and Robinson Road. As he exited the bus, he approached the driver, fired a shot at the driver, killing him on scene. Curious onlookers aligned at Robinson Road as adjacent businesses had to close due to the road being blocked off. Screams echoed as family members arrived on the scene. He was identified as a male in his early 30s. We do know the age of the victim at this particular time. Um, a family member who was on scene who presumed that that is his, her child, I should say, would provide that information. But we will know more definitively tomorrow when a positive identification is done as to exactly who this individual is. I'm told there were other passengers on the bus. Chief Superintendent Crystal Skippings once again issuing this appeal. We have seen a vehicle leaving the area at a high rate of speed. We may have seen a suspect that may have exited the bus. We want you to reach out to the officers of the Criminal Investigation Department and provide them with the necessary information so that we can bring this matter to a close. I also take this time again to speak to parents and family members who know that their families are in possession of weapons. I ask you to reach out to your police department, provide us with the information, let's get these weapons off the streets. These weapons, yeah, they're intended for other persons, but again, I reiterate, those weapons can actually be used on you or your family members. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Charles Fisher.